team that you're not cheering for. Ah, you know what I mean? Like if you were, if you were a Bulls fan, can you wear, can you wear, I don't know, Laker gear? Can you wear Warriors gear? Like it's, so with that, so here, okay. It, it, it depends on the fan, but I will say this. As a Laker, as I've been a Laker fan my whole life, so I can actually answer this. Um, their teams, it doesn't matter, right? If I were to put them on at any age, a Chicago Bull, let's say it's had jacket, it's just a Bulls jacket, okay? If I were to put on a, a Matumbo jersey, right? It's just a Matumbo jersey. However, if I were to, to don a Boston Celtic, well, I'm just not doing that. Like, just not have to. So yeah. it just depends on the individual, but definitely on the uh, the rivalries and the the history of, of the franchises. There's no way you couldn't give, you couldn't pay me to wear Celtic anything. Um, <laughs> Let's say like there are there are rivalries. Like I get, I'm, I grew up a Sacramento Kings fan, so I'm, I'm not touching Laker gear. I'm not touching Warrior <laughs> gear. I don't care how many three Steph Curry hits, man. I can't, I can't wear the jersey. Can't do it. I understand that part. But, uh, but I do have. It's not a jersey, but I do have. Uh, like classic Hornets, uh, I've a windbreaker. I've got the, uh, I've got a, uh, a beanie too, and a t-shirt. Like it's a classic gear. I can just kind of respect the aesthetic. You know, they were the first. So the Hornets, the first franchise to use teal prominently in their color scheme, and they started a trend that still continues to this day. Uh, somehow, some way, those colors when the Hornets debuted, purple and teal, that is just so many people identify with it. You could be a hardcore fan of your team. But everyone knew it was okay to wear Hornets paraphernalia <laughs> because it was too gorgeous not to.